Alrighty, guys. So, we are back with our second episode here on the center, and I got an idea of what I want to do. So, I've decided that this week we have to establish somewhat of a base, so that way I can get some eggs production going, or maybe just work on uh, getting some tames to go do the boss fight. That was another one, but I'm pretty sure... I'm going to need to establish a base either either way. So what I've decided is, you see that island right out here. I'll just... Oh, oh no, I don't have a... I tried j flying. I'm not going to lie. I'm going to go to that island out there, you see with the rocks sticking out. Now, I'm pretty sure it is a pretty safe island. No carnivores spawn on it. I already flew out there on the pterodon. Problem is, though, is I got to swim. And as you, you know what? That's actually pretty awesome. Look, every even this floor is out of the water when this guy's swimming. Could not have built this any better. Oh, there's a megalodon. There's mantises too. There's a 145 mantis. I think he swims faster than all them. The Megalodon looks like the only thing that's gaining. And just like that, we immediately lost the Megalodon. And boom, we're going to run across this island here. And then uh, we'll just immediately hop in and cross over. So what I'm thinking I'm going to do is, you know how like back on the island I made that massive stone foundation? I think I'm going to do the same thing on this island. Maybe not. Maybe, uh. No, I should be fine. I should be fine. I think I'm going to do the stone foundation either on this side or the other side. Okay. Now, just got to kind of figure out what side of the island I guess I want to build on. Also, you guys might be noticing a bunch of these guys around. The Glacius, I believe is what they're called. I've had them for a while. It's just I could never find them on the island. And now they're everywhere on, this, on the center. Like, every time I look out in the ocean, there's one of them. Um... I think what we'll do is build off this side and uh, down there. Let me quickly, where's my boom? What do I need for stone foundations? Stone foundations are going to require a lot of stone, a lot of wood, and a lot of thatch. You know what I could do as well? Because I do need thatch. We do got Littlefoot, and he is... Uh, you know what would be better, though? Because I need a lot of thatch. He get... Think of him as more or less, like... I'll just use... I'll just give you my tools to use. But... Think of him, Littlefoot, when we use him for that kind of stuff. He's more for uh, just gathering whatever is around. I'm going to use Blossom to gather more. Like, hey, we need this resource, you know. We're just going to get a bunch of thatch here. I'm also going to get some wood and stone. Okay, so I grabbed all the stone out of uh, Littlefoot. And I also got a bunch of stone off the island. I think we should be good here to make a bunch of stone structures now. Let's go stone. How many of these should I make? Let's make 50 for now. And I'll let those craft up and then I'll get back to you guys when I start placing them down. Alrighty, I kind of got carried away here before I decided to record again. But I had to go make me about a hundred more foundations here and I'm thinking I might need another hundred because I really don't want to go any more this way 
I want to start heading that way. I feel like that's going to be my best option. Alrighty, so I just decided to go through and finish my platform here. Last time you guys saw it, it was only about over to here. And well, I decided just to quickly run it over and build it. So you may notice these little like cut-ins here. They're stairs. They're just little ramps to get up and out of the water if I fall in. Like over here, I just thought they'd be really good to have on the sides here where I kind of went a little bit deeper. And this is supposed to be kind of like a water pen area. And I'm thinking, I need a wall. <laughs> I just noticed it. Um, I'm thinking over on this side, I'm going to make this like my breeding area. And then over on that side is going to be the farm. But I need a workshop as well. So I figured we would probably pop a workshop somewhere back over in about here. Just kind of out of the way. And then over here we'll do the farm and all that. So let me let me use Littlefoot for this. He should be the best one for clearing a large amount of large, you know, area real quick. So let's go get this done. It's getting dark too, so. It's looking really beautiful though. I love the the look of the center now. Honestly, I, I, and honestly, the, the lava zone is kind of growing on me. I do wish, though, it was more looking like a volcanic, volcanic wasteland. You know, like how uh, Genesis was and how it kind of originally was, you know? Nothing but, like, desert all around. Well, yeah, kind of like just a black sand desert. That's what it was with burnt trees and lava flows. Okay, I think I got me an area cleared here. So what I need to do now is go and get me some wood foundations. Or do I want to do stone? I think I can do stone. Do I still have some stone foundations? I do. Not a whole lot. I'm going to have to lay out an outline. I'm pretty sure, though, I threw all my stone, wood, and thatch and all that in here. Yep. We'll hop right back into building. So... I got somewhat of an idea of what I want to do for a workshop. Okay, so I think I got a decent foundation placed down. Kind of went overboard on how many foundations I needed. I just hit A and built another hundred. I really shouldn't have. That took up a lot of my resources. But if you noticed here, this is a, what is it? I think it's a seven by five if I counted correctly. So like seven by five uh, stone foundation square. Then over here in this left or top yeah top left corner i put down three foundation or triangle foundations there i got a plan to make something kind of a tower then over here i got like a cutout and i'm thinking i don't know what i'm gonna do with that but i got a cut out there so we'll figure out something to do with that okay so i had a bit of an idea i'm kind of not knowing how i feel about it so what we're doing right now is, as you can see, we placed down some stone pillars here that was originally going to go up with wood. But then I had the idea to connect them around with one stone around the bottom here. But I was wondering maybe if I should go back and do these ones, the small ones, you know. But I don't think, don't think I need to do that. I think we're going to be fine, though, with this now that I see it placed down. These look better. So I'm going to keep going around with those. Okay, so I went around, I placed, it's raining right now, it's really hard to see as well. But if I get up close, as you guys see, I went around and I put down some wood quarter walls and all that. Oh, it's really hard to see. I should probably hold off until the morning or until it stops raining to record again. But I'm going to keep on putting up walls and all that and see how good we can get this looking. Okay, it's daytime now, and it's still raining though. But I think I got a good, nice looking base going like i mean it looks nice i don't know how i feel about that i think what i'm gonna do here also if you may notice i'm using the was it the frontier structures pack just for the windows all right that's what i'm doing there for i figured that'd be pretty awesome um how does that look now i think that looks better i don't know it hmm, let's do this Okay, now, I don't have that in my hotbar. Uh, let's see how this looks. From the outside. 
yeah, I think I like that more. So I think I'm going to pick up these pillars and put up windows here in the front. So I don't know what I'm going to do here in the back just quite yet. I'm going to kind of just sit back, take a look at it, and then I'm going to get back to you guys on that. Okay, I think I got the back the way I want it. Uh, don't know what else I could do there to make it look different, but... Yeah, I think what we need to start doing here, though, is figuring out what we need for a generator, a fabricator. Uh, what else do I need? A smithy. I think I have all the stuff for a smithy. And I would like to, by the end of this week, have an Indie Forge. And with how much metal Littlefoot gathered, I'm pretty sure we can do that. If I just keep on going back over to the... It's not hard to go to the mainland, either. If I go back over to the mainland and just harvest a bunch of river rocks with him... We should be good. We should be good. And I've been needing to as well because I'm running low on stone. So I think next up though is I'm going to try and put a roof on and see where and kind of like, yeah, we'll see what we can do from there. Okay, so I got a bit of an idea of what I'm doing now, especially for a roof. Just needed to run and get me some more wooden thatch here. So I go over here and craft up a wood. Let's do just a bunch of these. I'll get these crafted up, and I'll show you what I'm doing here. I decided to go with the ramps, because they kind of slope in enough to match up with that. And uh, I don't know if I'm going to keep that tower-looking thing. I don't know. I might. I'm still debating on it. We might make a tower. A wizard's tower, you know? Just because, technically, this is supposed to be kind of a fantasy theme. And I just realized I could... I, yeah, forgot to hotbar those, so I couldn't craft more. Let's put this in the hot bar so that way I can make more when I need them. But yeah, I don't know if I'm going to keep the tower, but this ceiling here, I decided to go in with the slope and we're going to patch in that there, the corners. We're going to go in with a uh, boom, upside down railing. And that should help blend it in. Or do I even want to do it that way or do I, I think, yeah, no, I, I want to do it that way. Um... I'm still thinking on that. What do I need to do? Because I need a door. I got an idea. I got an idea for the door already. So what we need to do, though, for it is... Oh, overshot. Boom. Boom. And then we'll go with this. And... Boom. Now, let me... Let me... I got this. No, I got it. I know what I need. I need two wooden walls. I actually... You know what? I have all that stuff in my hotbar. Two of those. And then I'm going to need four railing. And what we'll do is boom. And then boom. There we go. That'll work. Maybe? Yeah. Oh, yeah. I don't need the railings because I was like, well, why does that look off? I know why it looks off. That's because. Oh, come on. Snap where I need you. Boom. It's because that's. uh. The half railings are down here and I was thinking I was going to need one up there. Good thing I didn't. So um, I think I'm going to need another two pillars just to. You know, even that out and make it look even. And I think I'm liking the the front of this house. Or the front of the workshop. I guess it's really... Eh. You know what I was also thinking? Maybe we do this side workshop. This side, like, trophy room and personal area, you know. Trophy room. That's usually what my personal areas end up being. Okay, so I've decided to rip down that tower... It just didn't fit. I couldn't, like, find a way to make it fit. And, well, I think it was the right decision. So, we now almost got the ceiling done here on that. Also, I did cut this back in one more. So, it's a little bit not, you know, it's not as wide out that way. But I think it looks still this, still looks good. So, I'm just going to finish putting on the roof here. Then I'm going to get back to you guys on what we're going to be doing next.
Alrighty, I'm saying that bait, that workshop, the workshop is looking like it's pretty done. Now, I don't think I got quite enough room inside for an industrial forge, but we can always like adjust once, like, you know, pop the ceiling off here in this one corner and make it look like it fits, you know. But I'm figuring that we got a really nice start here. So, I'm going to quickly transfer, not transfer, but get my own uh, smithy fort in there. So, boom, what do I need for a smithy? I know making a second one already is probably not the best idea or wisest use of my metal, but I figured may as well have a separate one here for this base. We already got a good 300 metal as well processed in the forge I just checked, like 358 I think it was. So we got a decent amount. Um, disable the the snapping there for a second. Boom. We'll put the smithy right here. I'm thinking I'm going to put the fabricator right here. What do I need for a fabricator? Okay, I need crystal oil, metal, spark powder. Uh, yep, still going to need all that. I need to work on the cementing paste as well. I need, uh, what are they? Mortar. Why did I put that all in there? I actually need all this. Okay, so I've run into a bit of a stumble. I need chitin and a lot of it. Now, I do already got a plan in the works or kind of worked out in my head. Um, what we're going to do here is we're going to go pop on Blossom and Pterodon and we're going to actually go fly over to an ant nest and harvest a bunch of the little ants that come out hopefully we can make it away without getting too injured but yeah there's a couple ways that this could go wrong and i really hope it doesn't okay i just marked the two closest queen ant colonies to me um let's just go over to the level 60 it's gonna the nest will last longer well, technically, it's not... Oh, shoot. Do I even... No, yeah. I can harvest them because I've already checked this stuff in the past. Because I used to do this all the time on the back of a thylo when I lived in the Redwoods. And eventually, I just started uh, collecting it from my ant my own personal ant nest. So, And I also had my Akatina farm. So it was just kind of a mixture of normal cementing paste and Akatina paste. You know what? I'm also going to grab that blue drop and pop out... Uh, Blossom there on the beach. That's probably going to be best. Keep running low on stamina. I, you know, I always forget that the... Oh my god, right as I go to that drop, it disappears. Like, as soon as I spot it too, it's like, Ooh, there's a blue drop right there. I might be able to get something decent out of it. Yeah. Boom. Okay, let's pop the hatchets on you. I do believe those would be best for the... Chitin? 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 We're going after Chitin. Chitin's the stuff that you get from, like, trikes and stegos. Gotta get a lot of this. Luckily, Blossom can fight them back pretty good. She's harvesting a lot as well, which is nice. I think I'm going to try and get a good couple thousand here, so I'll get back to you guys once I'm done. Um, um, that's an acro. <laughs> and it just rolled up on me. Oh no, it's still chasing. I thought it... Blossom just keep running. Oh god. Rough day on Ark. There's a Pago chasing us as well! <laughs> I kind of want to quickly try and get a photo. Oh, and of course he's like in a tree. Okay, we'll do it again right about here. Oh, where'd he go? Is he... Oh, he's turning around. We're good. 
We've lost him. Okay. Let's make this quick. Only got a thousand there. Oh, of course you've been damaged recently. Let's get... Yeah, just transfer all that. You. I need you. Come here. There we go. We're on our pterodon. Um. I'm going to probably... No, because my hatchet's broke. All I was able to get was a thousand. What I really, really need to probably do here is wait for dark again. I'm going to, of course, keep on going and getting a uh, chit in here and trying to get as much cementing paste and metal and spark powder and all that. I also need to run and find some oil and get that stuff going. So, kind of need to focus up on uh, getting a fabricator here, but yeah. After we get that, we need to focus up on probably doing some drops. So let's finish up here on the fabricator. Okay, I got the spark powder and cementing paste going. Now, we got the metal. I need crystal and oil. <sighs> let's head to the Arctic. That's going to be our... No, not the Arctic. Um, t -t 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 -t. Let's head over to the skull. I know that there's got to be crystal there at least. I don't know about oil though. I know I've seen crystal while I was flying around. And look at the whale breach. I don't think I've shown you guys that yet. I think I... Maybe. Maybe I did. This is a 130. He's been swim. She's been swimming around near the base. I keep spotting her. Um, unfortunately, we are still a long ways off on taming one of those guys. So. Um, was the crystal I spotted in the mouth? Oh, uh, I see crystal in the mouth. I'm just going to head for the crystal I see. I don't know about oil, though, because I don't see oil nodes. I see obsidian. Obsidian, though. Uh, I won't worry about the obsidian. I'm worried about crystal right now. I'm just trying to think, where is metal? Because we might need to run and get some here at some point. Oh, you're not metal. Oil. Why did I say... Did I, sw I don't know what I'm talking about anymore. I'm losing it. I'm just kind of enjoying playing on the center, though. All right, you know, getting the fresh start. Feels a little too easy, though. Like, we did get a bit of a jump. Like, a really fast jump start, though, thanks to the creatures I brought over with me. But that's initially, like, what we planned on we were going to spin. Um, also, from the next time, for, like, when Aberration comes out, I've thrown in a lot more no dinos. So there is a chance that we just... There's a larger chance that we just flat out get nothing. Okay, so I just dropped the crystal off here at the base. I'm going to grab Blossom this time. Because I feel like, again, yeah, she's going to get us a lot more. And I know a spot is just a ways away. It's the iceberg, honestly. That's one of like the closest places I can think of for oil that isn't at the bottom of the ocean. Um, what is the chance of there actually being some oil on the top? Ooh, game, don't freeze. Okay, on the top of this mountain. Or over there in the center. Because we're almost too technically where I was going, which is the green obelisk. Yeah, that's a, that's a ways from the base. Also, I wanted to clear these guys out. So I don't have to look at them anymore. We're a ways from the base. Um, I'm not seeing, like, anything that looks like an oil node. I'm pretty sure I'm going to have to go to the iceberg. Let's check up here, though, at the tippy-tippy top. Yeah, it's looking like we're heading towards the iceberg, but the snow biome looks pretty awesome. I'm not going to lie. I did also think about building there in the center island, but I didn't know how I was going to get Littlefoot over there. Especially with the base on his back and I can no longer cryopod him. Yeah, there's issues. Maybe we could have also built down here at Green Ob. I don't know. I like the place that we picked, though. I think we did make a good decision on base locations. Okay. Um. Minor problems. I don't see a lot of oil. 
I see like two pieces. Oh, okay, we got a bunch over here. We'll pop them down over here. Um, penguins. What do I? I don't remember what I need to tame penguins. I'm not gonna worry about it. We can always come back later, tame some. But I need them technically for farms. I need pickaxes for best oil, if I recall. And then, well, bam, we just go in now. Oh, I feel like this is not going to be a whole lot of oil. May as well get some extra crystal while we're here. Um, anything down in here? More crystal. I thought that stone that I just watched was a different one. Is there any? No. Huh. Ooh. What was that? Is that a fish? Is that a piranha? Yeah, that's a piranha. Okay, I'm going to try and find some more oil nudes. Is this one I missed? Yes. It is. Okay. I'm pretty sure... I can kind of four-wheel drive across here with uh, Blossom. And there is another bundle of oil over here. Let's try and not fall. Nothing down in there. It's over here, right? Yep. Not... Not the abundance of oil that I was expecting. Usually, like, there used to be just so much oil on this iceberg. But I guess they've had to... They've done some balancing, because, again, on PvP, whoever controlled the iceberg controlled the fuel supply, essentially. The early game fuel supply. I got just, like, a lot of noise there walking past those guys. Um... Come on, you're Skyrim Horse Blossom. I know you can do this. Ah, oh, come on. Skyrim Horse. Sky nope, nope, nope. You are not like a Skyrim Horse. I found a path. There is apparently a straightforward path. Boom. Let's just transfer all this. We'll bring it all with us. So let's get the pickaxe. Boom. And cryo up blossom. So we now got the oil. So now all I need is to transform that. Ooh. I'm going to drop some weight there. Is there anything else I can cut? I don't think there is. Huh. He, we, he's just heavy. Or his weight's just low. So, anyways, I'm going to head home. Okay, so, we're almost home. I stopped to get this drop. Look at that. That actually has some decent gear. Um, You know what? I'm going to just toss it, because I know that I can get better out of higher quality drops. But I will take the seeds, and I will take the more crystal. But we're almost home here. Our island's right there in front of us. It's taking a while. I honestly did not need to go that far. This map is so huge now. I'm not joking. It is massive. Like, insanely. Insanely. Like, that was like... We went halfway across the map. Hold up. Let me pull it up. Look. We went half... Like, from here... That's... We're at the halfway point. This is the exact center of the map. We went all the way up to that iceberg. That's insane. Okay, so what we'll do now is give you all this stuff and we will transfer the cementing paste and we will transfer the spark powder. We will give this full stack now here over to this and finish off that cementing paste. And you know what? You know what? Yeah, we'll give you all of this just so that way you can make even more cementing paste. But now with the combination of these, we can get a fabricator. 
Boom. And I'd say we've made some good progress today. We've already gotten up to a fabricator. Now, what else we need to do is probably move on to a generator at some point. I believe I have all this. I need silica pearls. Ooh. I need to get a water tame. I just, ooh. Ooh, no, 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 nobody follow me. I forget sometimes Jay's follow all and it's right below, uh, my unfollow so if i hit follow all unfollow follow all un unfollow then i got my t to specific was it is it y to whistle on whistle one yeah i'm starting to learn the commands again i'm really needing to learn the hotkeys but yeah anyways i feel like we made some extremely extremely good progress today guys so anyways i'm gonna cut it here if you guys found yourself enjoying this episode, please do remember to leave a like and subscribe. Also, remember to ring that notification bell so that way you guys get notified upon me posting videos. And, of course, one last thing. I am running a YouTube channel members goal. Currently trying to get 10 YouTube channel members. Currently sitting at 2. And once we hit that goal, I will be opening up an ARC server for everyone to play on. So, yeah. Anyways, this has been Gunshy Morai signing off. Peace.